Hi everybody, Robert John Miller Guard Machinery. We have been doing some more videos for you guys to look at. So we've test, uh, look at testing the Canicom, the Ecotech and some Grin machines. So keep watching the video for some more info. Right guys, so we had um, some machines down um, to test from Grin, Ecotech and Canicom. So we decided to take out the front of the shop and do some uh, do some videos for you. So first of all, we've got the Grin um, SPM 53A. It's a long grass mower. Uh, so this is designed as what it says on the tin, basically long grass. Um, we didn't have masses of long grass to show it through, but I put it I put it through some weeds and some sort of heavy duty sort of products, and you can see um, how well it copes. It's got a Kawasaki engine on it, so good quality engine. It's also got the pressurised lubrication system on it, uh, which means you can use it on sort of sloped areas, kind of replacing the two-stroke um, sort of aspect um, of machines. But all the grin kit, uh, we'll be doing some more videos in the future of the you know, mulching mowers. It's strong, robust, um, sort of pro-use. Um, really impressed with it. You know, um, the first time I sort of got the hands on it. Twin speed, um, so you can cover the grass. As you can see there, I'm, I'm sort of going along at a fair old rate of knots, um, and it it does a job. Uh, so this is a, this is a long grass one. So finish wise, will be different to a mulching mower, but it gives you an idea of what you can achieve if you've got a mower that wants to tackle high stuff and normal types of grass. Um, so that was in the, uh, the sort of quick mode, and then slowed it down a bit to see. Um, and see how sort of the more sort of uh, tighter areas you might have to work in. So that's the Grin, uh, the Grin mower. It's got the single wheel on the front for sort of going around trees and um, sort of obstacles. So really impressed with this mower, to be fair, guys. Um, I say the first time we got got on using it, um, really, really chuffed. Uh, and they'll be in the showroom at some point soon, and online if you want to purchase it. So second machine up, we have the Ecotech TRT Swing. Uh, there's two different variations of this. Um, the sort of a home user uh, option and uh, this is the sort of the pro use. So this bad boy, as you can see now, goes through pretty much anything. They sort of class it as like a woodland mower. So you can go through saplings. It's got some really gnarly blades out the front. Spits everything out the front, so you don't want anybody stood in front of you. But as you can see, copes with long stuff really easily. Um, this has got the Honda, I believe, GX engine on it, so it's a pro engine. Um, so good reliability, Honda engines. I'm getting stuck in there. Uh, it's got four blades at the front. It's height adjustable, so you can scoot along the ground but also that deck can raise up on those front bars uh, to give you a bit more of a higher cut but if you have a look through it's sort of it's coping with all that long grass it was quite damp the day that we tested these so it's damp conditions and to be fair for the type of mower it is with the swing blades on it um it copes really well and then here, here it is again just going in some more longer longer sort of material and also you'll see in a second um, it has a nice feature where you can twist the handlebars um, side to side so if you're working on slopes and you want to keep the your hands or a nice um, level uh, you can do or equally if you're going into sort of heavy brash and stingers and thorns and you want to sort of move it move your hands out of the way so they're not getting sort of attacked um, that's doable as well, so that's uh, coming up now, nice and easy, just a flick of a switch. And that's the Ecotech TRT. From... And then finally guys, we have got the Canicom CMX2406, which has got the big Honda engine in it. I believe round about the 20 sort of four horsepower sort of territory. Um, so you may have seen us doing a demo on the Yamaha version that we've got um, on our higher fleet here at John Miller. 
and a guard machinery. Um, this is basically the top of the range one. You see it's got the uh, roll bars on it. Bit of a beefier engine. Everybody knows the Honda engine's really good. Um, this thing, as I say, coping with long stuff. You saw it going through the tall grass. Uh, hopefully, if you've seen our video, we posted two or three weeks ago. But equally, if you open it up, um, it can cope with covering just open areas of grass. You're not going to get the same finish as you get on like a ride on, like a John Deere or a Cub Cadet with a, with a proper mulch deck on it. But these swing blades on these uh, Canicom perform really well. Nice feature about this, which is coming up in a second. All the other ones are manual, um, manual height adjustments. This baby's got automatic. So you pick your height, you press your button, and it will remember where you've been. That's a nice little feature. Saves you having to sort of uh, remember what height it will pick the weight the deck up on your arm. And there you go. And that is the Canicom CMX2406. Good bit of kit. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.